You want to know more about the Morocco 3D scanner from RevoPoint? Well, stick around because I've got a review for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something very exciting for you. We are going to review the Morocco 3D scanner from RevoPoint. Um, I'm going to do this down dirty, nice and quick. We are going to just cover uh, some highlights. This is going to be my short review. I'll do a longer one in the future, but we're going to go, and this is your little intro. Next, we're going to talk about features and specifications. I'm going to do a little demo for you. And then finally, I'll do uh, pros, cons, and I will give you my overall rating. So without any further ado, let's get into it. The front of the unit features a quad camera infrared structured light array, two cameras for near mode, two cameras for far mode, eight infrared fill lights, a 48 megapixel color camera with two white flash LEDs, the structured light projector, and a speaker. The rear of the unit boasts a 180 degree adjustable 2K AMOLED screen. Internally, the unit features an 8 core 2.4 GHz processor with 256 gigabytes of storage, either 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of RAM on the Pro model, up to 2 hours scan time, a 5000 milliamp battery which can charge to 80% in 35 minutes, and offers connection via USB Type-C 3.1 or Wi-Fi 6. The bottom of the unit is equipped with rubber non-skid pads in a standard 1 quarter inch 20 socket. Additional features include both single shot and continuous modes, a 9 axis IMU, up to 15 frames per second scanning speed, and no cables or PC are needed for scanning or processing. The software interface is well laid out and easy to navigate. There is a pull down menu with main settings amongst other features like screen recording, storage level, and wireless LAN settings. On the left side of the screen are the depth display and RGB display windows. In the center is the 3D display window. Along the top is the distance display. The touch screen itself is very responsive and easy to use. In this example, I am scanning a 3D printed dragon skeleton on a large turntable. At this point, the video has been sped up to 200%. Note the frames per second counter in the upper left. Once complete, the captured point cloud can be processed on the Morocco. For simple scans where you do not want to take full control, the one-tap edit will automatically make all of the setting decisions for you. For more control, the user can individually make selections on the fusion, mesh, and texture settings. Once rendered, cleanup is possible using the selection tools on the bottom. Once the scan data has been imported into the RevoScan 5 software via USB-C or Wi-Fi, you'll have even more control over the finished scan and output. As before, the one-click option is available. If this option is not selected in order to exercise greater control over the finished scan output, first, fusion functions are performed, followed by the mesh edit functions. Mm. When mesh edit is complete, additional features such as fill holes becomes available. Fill holes is not available on the Morocco unit at the time of this recording, but RevoPoint has said it's coming in the future. One nice feature is being able to choose which holes get filled as shown in this demonstration. When the scan is complete, export options include PLY, OBJ, STL, FBX, GLTF, and 3NMF. All right, now let's talk about the pros and cons and then I'll wrap it up with uh, my overall review. So, some of the pros. Um, first of all, this thing is portable. I mean, that's what you're paying for. So you've got all that portability. You don't have to drag out your computer. You don't have to drag out any cables. That's great. You have both the near and far mode. So it's like getting two uh, scanners in one. The tracking is pretty good. Um, this is my first uh, 3D scanner. So yeah, I don't have that much. Actually, at this point, I have a second one um, that I can compare it to. But, uh, you know, I think the tracking on this is, is pretty good. The battery life is pretty long. It's 5,000 milliamp battery. You will see it, you know, ticking down as you scan. Um, so it's not like your phone where you expect all day battery life, but being able to scan for, you know, up to two hours is uh, pretty good. The software, both on the unit and on your PC, it's pretty snappy and responsive. Um, the other software that I've used, sometimes, you know, you hit it to do something, it'll go to like 6% and it just stays there for like a minute or two. And then it finally starts moving. You never have that with the, uh, the Revo scan, uh, software. Speaking of the software, 
Um, as long as I've had this, they seem to be doing very frequent updates. And in fact, RevoScan 5, the last update was just seven days ago as of the time of this recording. Um, and they have new firmware for the unit that they just started testing uh, at the beginning of July. So, I mean, overall, this thing is very feature rich. So things like being able to record the screen while you're scanning like you've seen in this video so that's a that's a huge benefit um, if you get the pro model you get the hdmi adapter that fits into the USB-C port so i mean i could be scanning i could attach this to the tv behind me or if you're scanning you can attach it to a tv or a monitor so the people that you're working with can see what's going on um, the again the number of things that they include in the package, uh, you know, high quality stuff like this 65 watt dual port adapter. You can see how thick this cable is. It's not uh, cheap. Um, tripod's good. The, uh, you know, the, the rotary base here um, has the ability to change direction and speed. So just overall, really happy. Now, some of the cons, um, price. This thing was over $1,600, so it's not inexpensive for what you're getting. However, in the world of 3D scanners, you could pay 10 times this much for kind of, you know, an entry-level commercial scanner. Um, on the, the RevoScan software, there was a, a glitch that I noticed when I was recording this. Uh, you, you know, if you're a Windows user, you're used to being able to make things full screen and then making a little window and moving that over. I have a three-screen setup. If I made, if, if I went out of full screen and drug it to another monitor, it would hang in between things. It, I couldn't just maximize it on another monitor. There's something weird. I checked the forums. It's been like that for over a year. So Revo, or, yeah, Revo Point, please fix that. I know it may not affect everybody, but you know those little touches uh, go a long way. Um, the last con that I have, I did notice sometimes when I'm scanning color accuracy, like when you, if you do a textured model, sometimes you'll see that the colors are kind of splotchy. Now, I haven't been scanning that long. I can say that whether you're using external lighting or the lights that are built into this, um, you know, if I was scanning this little guy right here, just with this light, and when I'm scanning on this side where my, I have a main light over here, you can see it's bright. If I come and scan around to this side, it's much darker. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have inconsistent color unless I were to scan this and let it rotate so that the lighting was always the same. So that may just be me. Um, I'll probably figure it out as I go along, but that is one thing that I noticed. So overall, um, I'm gonna give this a uh, four out of five uh, directed tech gears. So. Overall, very happy, um, very pleasant, or very pleased with my experience, both with the company um, as just a regular customer. This was not provided to me. I paid for this with my own money, and I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm happy with it. So that's my review of the Morocco 3D scanner from Revo Point 3D. As always, if you enjoy what I'm doing here on the channel, please take a moment to hit like, hit subscribe, and I'm going to try and uh, shrink down these, you know, some of these review videos. I am going to do a longer uh, review on this unit just so I'm not so compressed for time, but I did want to try and get one out here. Um, I don't think I will make it in five minutes because even this section here is about five minutes long, but less than 10 minutes for the overall review. So I guess that's going to be my goal. Because I don't want to, I don't want to shortchange you. It's useless to have a uh, a very short review if I'm not giving you all the information. So this is going to be a review in less than 10 minutes, and I've got more coming for you. So as always, let's just keep on learning and burning together. Take care, everyone.